Peter from SimGuitars.com. And what's up today? All right, today we're going to check that uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival song, Born on the Bayou. All right, so the main chord of this song is the E7, which is like this. All right, you may have noticed uh, I have a tremolo effect right now on my sound. You will need this to play this song. It's a nice effect. Give us an old vintage sound, yeah? All right, so you need to put your um, ring finger over here on the seventh fret of the fifth string, and your middle finger over here on the sixth fret of the fourth string. And then you'll need to put your pinky over here, you see, like this. Pinky over here on the on the third string, seventh fret, all right? And the index on the second string, fifth fret. So we go like this, and the two E strings here, the small one and the big one, the first and sixth, are played all alone, no fingers in. All right, so this is the E7. Okay, and this is the chord we're gonna use 90% uh, in the song. All right, so we start here by sliding on the ring finger up here to the seventh fret, and then we put all the other fingers. We can already prepare here. Yeah, you put your your E7 chord shape. You can already prepare this, and you just slide. Important is do not press on the strings. You just press on the ring finger, and you slide it up to the seventh fret. All right, so all right. Okay, so for the rhythm, what I do here is the, I start on the fifth string pick the fifth string and then first string and I go up to the second string and then to the third string and then I go to the um, fourth string again I go back to the second string third fourth second third all right so if I give you the string number it goes like fifth fourth second third fourth second third fourth second third Fourth, second, third, and we start over again. And then we will play the same uh, chord but with a little different uh, rhythm. We're gonna go. What I do here, I play kind of like a bass, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, all right? So it's kind of, uh, for the rhythm, it's kind of like I hit the bass here, fifth and sixth string, all right? And then I go up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. I play this two times, and then I'm gonna add some um, ninth here, doing like this. Uh, and I raise the pinky and I do. I bar this and I play here these strings and go back in. So it goes. The two last down strokes, uh, up strokes, I mean, these two are gonna go first with the ninth and then back again to the E7. And next thing I'm gonna do is still again with this shape, and then I'm gonna go do uh, a major chord. But be careful; it's a little bit special. I've only played the strings I'm pressing on right now, so it means the fourth, third, and second strings by barring here with my index finger. So I only play this, and then I raise my finger and play those three string again, which gives a uh, us in, which gives us, in fact, um, an open G chord. All right. So it goes. Uh, and second time I do this, I'm gonna do again the A and the G, but a little bit uh, earlier. So it goes. All right. Instead of. And then I will have for the chorus the same thing, but instead of this, I'm gonna have a D chord 
and the same A chord and we go back to the E7 and that's where he goes born on a bayou all right and then we'll have here a little kind of a solo which goes approximately all right I'm not a I didn't check it really uh, exactly but uh, it's approximately uh, you hold here the um, second fret of the third string so we first hold this and then we go with the index finger on the first fret and we play we alternate with second and first fret on the third string and then we go here to the uh, second fret of the fourth string and again we alternate again here and we go back here to this note all right and then we're gonna do I'm gonna go on second fret I slide on my middle finger to the fourth fret of the third string I play the second the third fret of the second string sorry and then the first string all alone so play with the pick here so we go and then I go back here on the fourth um, fret of the um, third string and slide it back down here to the second fret and do again that alternation with the first fret and I go here back again right away and do the same thing again and do that alternation thing again and stop again on that second fret of the fourth string all right and I wait a little minute let it ring and I'm gonna go Okay, for the next part of the solo, we're gonna go with the ring finger and the pinky on the seventh fret here, uh, fourth string and second string. All right, like this. Can you see that one? Like this, yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna play the pick with the ring finger here. I mean, I'm gonna play the pick on the fourth string, and I'm gonna play with my uh, middle finger of the right hand with on the second string. Okay, and I'm gonna play those both together. Okay, let me do a close up on that. All right, so I go. I'm gonna slide those up to the ninth fret. All right, so. Okay, so what I do here is. I play those two together, okay? And then I'm gonna go with these two to the ninth fret and go back down to the seventh fret and go down here and I'm raising my pinky and I'm gonna put my middle finger on the fifth fret. I'm on the sixth fret with my ring finger, sixth fret, fourth string, and I'm gonna go to the and I'm gonna stay here, sorry, and I'm going with my middle finger on the second string, fifth fret, like this, and still the same thing here, alright? So the rhythm goes. And then with my pick, I go here, hit the fourth um, uh, fret of the third string here with my index finger. Alright, and then I start again. Here I'm gonna put my index finger on the fifth uh, fret of the first string and raise my middle, uh, uh, my pinky, sorry, and I go, I hit uh, the pick on the fourth uh, string, and the middle finger of, the, of my right hand is not hitting anymore the second string, but the first string. So it goes, 
So it goes. And then I go back here with to, with my pinky on the um, on the second string, but I'm sliding this up here to the ninth fret. Okay, so it goes. Okay. And go back down to the seventh fret. And then one more time and up to the ninth again. And then we start all over again. Like the first time. And then here we're gonna have a little triad thing which goes. So we have here with the ring finger the D major triad. Alright. Like this. And we have this here, the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string on the 7th fret and then we're gonna go with the A major triad yeah sorry and then we go here with the ringer so it's the ring finger on the um, on the 4th uh, string 7th fret and then 6th fret on the 3rd string with the middle finger and index finger on the 5th fret of the 2nd string all right, so we have but played as chords, so and two times on the first one, and then two times again also on the second one, but faster. And we slide that ring finger down to the sixth fret of the fourth string, and we go with the index finger on the third string foot fret, and with the middle finger on the fifth uh, fret of the second string, and we just let it ring. And we will add here our pinky on the 7th fret 2nd string for one stroke and raise it again and do another stroke. So it goes. Alright, so let me play it for you. It goes. One more time. And we're gonna do this three times. And the fourth time it's the same thing, but it's gonna be down here, so it goes and then and all right. So what happens here is remember the last shape we had here? Well this shape just uh slide it down two frets and here we will have again that uh D triad over here alright so two times and then we go to the A chord and to the E major chord All right. and then comes the next part which goes okay and this is with the index finger on the second fret of the um, fourth string, and then I'm gonna go on the with my index finger still. I'm gonna go on the first on the second fret of the fifth string. I'm gonna hammer it, uh, do a hammer with my ring finger on the fourth fret, still on the fifth string. So I go, see, and then I go back here with my index finger to the second fret of the fourth string. And I'm gonna play here the big string all alone, the sixth. Alright, so it goes. And then I'm gonna do second and fourth fret of the fifth string. And here the second fret of the fourth string. So it goes. And play again the fourth uh, fret of the fifth string. And again the second fret of the uh, fourth string F like this and again all right and back again to our E7 uh, okay so hope it helps hope you like this video and um, uh, yeah I hope you'll check my website down there a lot of cool stuff for you and song requests for me please and see you in the next video hope hopefully okay bye bye